Warning, the following podcast is unsuitable for most human beings. In fact, it's fucking ridiculous. Hey, 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 hey. It's us, the people that you hate. At dead underscore end underscore old. And... At Nat Mas K.O. Oh, hey. Whoa, whoa. Whoa. The most controversial, X-rated, degenerated wrestling podcast of all time is here for episode number 10. How are you doing, Nat Mas K.O.? I'm fine and dandy, almost. Still got the cold after fucking two weeks. I know, what the hell? What is going on? Listen to my stupid nasally voice. That's right, get us on Twitter. <laughs> you heard the handles, you know the handles by now. Dead End Old is the YouTube channel, Snapchat, the Reaction Room, all one word, same with Instagram. Website, www.thereactionroom. <clears throat> Thereactionroom.com Check that shit out, bitches. And Patreon. Head on over to Patreon. Become a patron. Big shout out to the Lexbot. Patron number seven. Thank you, Alex. And to the rest of you sexy motherfucking patrons, we love you. We don't have our own network quite yet. Um, So get on there. Jump on Patreon. Give us a dollar. Give us some beans. Give us something towards a haircut. Because I need a haircut. Have you seen me recently? I look like a fucking yeti. You look gorgeous. Well, I, did, I am a gorgeous yeti, aren't I? <laughs> <laughs> the camera's fucked. So, yeah. ladies and gentlemen, give us some beans. Don't know what's wrong with it. It's playing up recently. Fucked or smacked down. Uh, fucked the end of a raw... Fuck it! New stuff on Patreon there. Um, it has an app, so you can download it, check it out. Dead End Diary, there's going to be loads of stuff getting uploaded to that. And the world, according to that mass KO, will appear at some point. <laughs> Anytime soon? Yes. Also, some patrons will be getting Patrons Choice podcasts, where they choose a subject. Ooh. And we fucking talk about it. Wrestling. Or otherwise. That's an idea that I got from being at Billy Joel. Because he kept doing this thing. He kept going, Fielder's Choice. And he would give like two options. And folk would be like, Piano Man! Or Uptown Girl! That was that, that was me. That was my voice saying those yep. songs. Um, so uh, that'll be coming soon. Rate us on iTunes. If you're um, an iTunes user, please do. Because, you know, it, it helps us. Um, I'm going to read out two just now. Ooh, rating review things. We've got two five-star reviews. These are Ooh. from July. Uh, <laughs> the only two that we've got. We've got one from the UK store. It says, amazing. I said I'd check out this podcast and I'm so glad I did. Never thought of the two of you doing the podcast, but I'm so glad you did. Brilliant. Amazing. Beautiful. That's from Richie. Payton, or Patton, I believe it is. Thank you very much, Richie. Cheers, um, Richie. Got one from the USA store. Ripley435. These wrestling reactors rock. I'm a big fan of the Dead End old YouTube channel, so I was thrilled to find out there was going to be a podcast. Check out the hilarious YouTube channel and this awesome podcast. Degenerates all over the world will love this stuff. Big fan. Hashtag boo. Roman Reigns. <sighs> Roman Reigns. That's a great review. Thank you. If you do give us a five star review, we will read it out on the fucking show. And um, you, and you can hear my voice reading your words. That's right. Thank you very much, people. That have actually went on iTunes. If you're listening to this on YouTube, hello, YouTube. We're relatively new on YouTube, the podcast, but it's for all you lazy bastards that don't use iTunes or Stitcher or anything else. Really? Yeah. 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 And as you may have noticed, if you listen to wrestling podcasts, not even wrestling podcasts, many other podcasts seem to be all sponsored by the Dollar Shave Club. What the fuck is the... If I hear someone shill the Dollar Shave Club one more time, I mean, these guys must fucking have a lot of money because... They're on every single podcast. I think I even heard Joe Rogan 
going about the fucking oh, Dollar Shave Club. So, breaking news, we have our very own, we have our very fucking own sponsor, which is, you know what it is, folks. Put it in your grey, put it in your grey, Just For Men Club, that's what they say. That's right, so I use Just For Men on my balls and my bum crack and my hair and my my toenails. It's great. So go on there and buy it. It's www.wewillsayanythingformoney.com Go there and check out our very first ever sponsor thank you to uh, the just for men club there uh obviously that is a joke if someone legitimately does want to sponsor the podcast however then give us a shout and i will read stuff out for money because that's what podcasts do apparently and while we're on the subject while we're on the subject (laughs) this episode is called bad mood rising for a, a very good reason i'm in a bad mood I've been in a bad mood all fucking week, right? And I listen to some podcasts and the quality is piss poor. I'm calling out you, Mr. Wade fucking Keller of Pro Wrestling Torch. These guys make a living doing podcasts. And at first I thought, well, it's obviously because they're doing it over Skype and the audio quality is going to be shit. But that doesn't explain why Wade Keller's fucking microphone sounds like he's recording it with a piece of string in a tin fucking can it doesn't because we tested the live stream and it sounded great so you've got no excuse you bunch of fucks seriously actually it's actually getting on my tits these uh <laughs> as much as i actually do enjoy wade keller the audio podcast is pretty it's the quality on the podcast is pretty fucking horrendous i have to say uh ryan satin pro wrestling sheet pro wrestling shit more like um i do quite like ryan satin stuff but uh, they were boasting about how they'd moved into a new studio in la and his microphone was peaky as fuck <laughs> constantly just uh, how much it, and he had a sound engineer he's like but i've got a sound engineer yeah and it sounded like shit how do you explain that how do you explain that and that here we are sitting here with a fucking computer couple of microphones and it sounds decent why can't these fucks that get paid actual money sort their shit out i don't know well they're cunts i'm putting them all on fucking blast ryan satin wade keller get your fucking shit together motherfuckers um but i like their stuff so i'm, I'm only joking really uh <laughs> But yeah, studio in LA. Oh, got a sound engineer. Fucking sack him. How much are you paying the sound engineer? I like having a peaky microphone. When I scream because I fucking does this and it sounds mental. But not all the way through. Anyway, that mask heel. Yes. We've been pretty busy recently. We have been pretty busy. Yes. We went to Manchester. 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 Yes. We went to Chester and there was a man. (laughs) Uh, We went to Manchester to go see uh, WCPW True Legacy and UFC 204 in the same fucking night, folks. We spent, (laughs) I don't know how many hours, 18, 20 20 hours awake? I'm pretty sure, yeah, I'm pretty sure we were awake 20 hours. And drinking, um, yeah, I drank quite a lot and I spewed all over... (laughs) (laughs) All over Manchester. All over Manchester. I nearly spewed all over the fourth round. Michael Bisping versus Dan Henderson. <laughs> you I was, managed to keep it in. I was holding it in, but that was a struggle. But my <laughs> word, that was amazing. Um, that was a great experience. We can, we'll talk about that further down the line. Our Manchester experience uh, once WCPW True Legacy has aired. Has not aired, so no spoilers from us. And we'll talk about UFC there as well. That uh, was great. Loved it. Yep. What a weekend. So we drove back from, well, I drove back from Manchester and we, we went to Clitheroe, but we'll talk about that later as well. <laughs> drove back from Manchester on the Monday and thought, well, we need to watch Raw, Smackdown and No Mercy. So we watched Raw, Smackdown and fucking No Mercy all in the same fucking night. We were shattered. I hate wrestling now. <laughs> 
too much <laughs> overexposure <laughs> too much wrestling um yeah i've been getting annoyed this fucking last week in wrestling has been pretty pretty piss uh, we'll get to that in a second but <sighs> But this is why it's called Bad Moon Rising, folks. I've been annoyed. It doesn't help when I've spent the whole day today sitting under my bed covers in a dark room, not being able to use my eyeballs because I had to go to the hospital to get my fucking eye checked for some weird degenerative disease. He's going blind. Going blind in my right eye, possibly. So that was fun. (laughs) So I've spent all day <laughs> lying in the dark. Lying in the dark. <laughs> which which people that know me is like, wow, that sounds like Chrissy's idea of fucking heaven. Yep. And it usually is, but not when it's accompanied by a splitting headache and sore eyes. Uh, I'll tell you the quick story. I went to the hospital. The woman was like, we need to check this, check that. I was like, okay. Then she said, can I put these eye drops in your eye? I was like, go for it. And she's like, it can sting. I was like, that's fine, I'm a man, I've got a tattoo or two, it's fine. Put it in. So she puts this thing in my eye and I'm like, oh, fuck! Like, (laughs) inside, crying inside because I don't want to cry out my eye that's just been fucking raped by this woman. (laughs) Ladies and gentlemen, this podcast is fucking ridiculous. So please don't be offended by the words that we use because there are very... Very many words in this world that some people find offensive and some people don't. It's on you. So, yeah, this woman raped my fucking eyeball with these things. And then she said, oh, you need to go to the doctor now. And can I put these other eye drops in that are going to dilate your pupils for the next fucking God knows how many hours. They still are dilated. This Mm. was, what, 12 hours ago? So 12 hours later, I'm still here with my a splitting headache and my eyes are fucked. Hello! <laughs> uh, so I look, I look ridiculous. Uh, so it didn't help. Um, yeah. Uh, and it also doesn't help that I decided to stop fucking drinking uh, at the start of the week or the end of the week. That mask he was yawning like a motherfucker. Oh, I don't know what's going on now. Well, it is quite early in the morning, isn't it? Yeah. Um, but yeah, so I've been sensitive to light all day. My vision's been blurry all day, which is a bonus because that mask he always looked like one sexy fuck. You cheeky fucking cunt. Yeah, and this bloody mess sitting over there. <laughs> Ooh, hello. <laughs> hello, you bloody you bitch. Can, you can just imagine. Hey, a, you're a blurry bitch. A sexy beast <laughs> in amongst so, that yeah. blur. Yeah. But um, <laughs> when this bitch was putting eye drops in my eye, I was getting flashbacks to when the teacher had to do it for me when I was like seven years old in primary school because I'm a hay fever. Mm. I used to get it really bad and this old woman would bend me over the school desk and punish my eyes. <laughs> True story. Ask uh, Jimmy Forrester, he witnessed oh, the, whole, the whole thing. <laughs> it was scary. Miss Miss Glenn, her name is. I hope she's dead and in hell. She was probably a really nice lady, but she was, you know. Fuck it, this is supposed to be a wrestling podcast. For fuck's sake, Chris, oh. get on with it. All right, I hear what Stop you're saying. Stop moaning about your fucked up eyeballs. Okay, I'm not going to moan anymore. Let's remember wrestling. Ooh. So let's try and remember what we've watched over the last uh, week. No mercy. The second Smackdown uh, Smackdown network. only pay-per-view. Event, or I, network I event. Yeah, I don't. No, well, I, I like calling it that. I don't like the pay per view thing. Um, so let's get straight into it. No mercy. Started with the main event. <laughs> what the fucking hell? Fuck. And another reason why I'm not. You know, I'm in a bad mood. I don't want my pay per view event thing to start with the main event. And we were like, what the fuck? Who? What? Oh, who's made this decision? John Why Cena are we doing this? versus AJ and Ambrose. The main event I was looking forward to it. They opened with it, so obviously it was a great match. Yeah. Um, but then everyone else had to follow it. We'll get to that in a second. But I could not fathom what I was, it blew my mind. I was like, "What the? F- what is going on?" And then we'd since learned people were commenting on the YouTube thing saying, um, "Oh, it's th- it's because of the the presidential debate." The presidential and debate was coming on. It's it's because of the presidential debate. That's why that's why they've put it on first, Chris. 
Like, they're saying this as if it's a valid fucking reason. It's not on network television. It's on the WWE network, which you can actually watch on demand. You can start it from the beginning. You can, it doesn't affect ratings. What the fuck? So, Donald fucking Trump and Hillary cuntbag fucking fuckface Clinton are fucking up my wrestling show. <laughs> One of the mindless escapism, right? that I get is getting fucked up by American politics. What the fucking hell? So it's like the terrorists, you know. Well, you know, the terrorists have won. See when you cater, see when you put your main event on at the start of the night, the politicians have won. Do you want to live in a world where the fucking politicians have won? I know, I certainly don't. You, seriously, I fucking I mean, this should be on another podcast. So stupid. But people, oh, it's because of the presidential election. That's why. They, Duh. What? What first, the fuck? First of all, we don't live in the US. Yeah. What the fuck do we care about the presidential debate? Yeah. Fuck that. Second of all, yeah. Is that all you've got? I was I was wondering where you were going with this. <laughs> first of all, second of all, what are you second saying? of all, yeah, it wouldn't affect the ratings. The, it's on the network. It's not on you know, TV. It's, it's so silly, though. It's like so you've got people that watch wrestling, and then you're going to flip over the main event on your network to watch the presidential debate. Holy fuck! Uh-huh. The world is seriously fucked. Honestly. Mind. I know that mindless escapism, you know, is the purest form of entertainment, and that's exactly what this presidential election is as well. It's mindless escapism. So you're choosing between two fucking forms of entertainment right there and because Vin- Vince McMahon is so friendly with Donald Trump yeah. it's like oh Donald guess what? what what is it Vince oh oh my god oh, oh, I put the main event on first oh, 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 I'm a fucking genius I'm a genius Donald are you also going back to the future yeah <laughs> Marty <laughs> Marty Marty I don't believe it I'm a fucking genius I'm John Cena's John, don't worry, Donald Trump. John Cena's match went on first. <laughs> what the fucking kind, kind of world are oh, we living in? It just totally, like, set the mood for the rest of the pay-per-view and not in a good way. Yeah, but I didn't, it didn't even cross my mind that, oh, the presidential no, debate's on. Didn't so, even enter into it. We were just what? like, what the fuck are they doing? I was just appalled at the fact. Imagine all the kids that were watching going, what the fuck? Mm. But if that match had been the main event at the end of the pay-per-view it would have been a good pay-per-view yeah well let's get to that so anyway that's enough of that fucking I'll, we'll talk about that on my uh, my alex jones david ike podcast that will be coming up soon folks <laughs> everyone's a lizard um, <laughs> <laughs> fuck me just remember that just remember folks the next time that happens the politicians have won i'll just leave that with you it's like the terror. The terrorists have won. I, 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 I can't even. I'm, <laughs> uh, I need to stop. I need again. to move on. I need to move on. I'm go, I need to move on. Next up, right? So, Next. so the main event. I'm a fucking genius, Donald. I'm a gen- John Cena's match. Oh, fuck it now. <laughs> right. So AJ AJ Styles versus John Cena versus Dean Ambrose. Great match. It was a great match. Tremendous match. And I'm very glad AJ retained. I'm very glad. Grad. I'm very glad AJ retained also. I Although was, I, w- I would have been happy if John Cena had won. I feel fucking like for the 16th but time. I feel like John Cena winning the title for the 16th time is. Zach, I said that to you. A WrestleMania. I'm stealing, my, stealing my lines. <laughs> stealing my lines, that mask heel. You opened my eyes. Yeah, I said uh, I felt like if Cena was going to beat the 16th it or be tie, it would be at WrestleMania. And Ric Flair should get involved. Yeah. <laughs> Um. Yeah, that was a good match. There was a bit of a funny moment where, uh, there was, what was it? There was a double, there double was a tap out. Tap thing. out AJ yeah. tapped out. They both too. had AJ and Dean had. It was very silly. Let's just leave it there. So next up after that amazing match, Nikki Bella ah. versus Carmella. Uh. The moon walking. Uh, Carmella. I think Carmella might actually be the most annoying thing I've ever seen on television. But she's supposed to be. <laughs> she's supposed to be. So. But when she came out in the first place as a face, like when she got called up, 
she was also horrendously annoying. I think Nikki's a better heel than she's a, a face. So should, I like Nikki as a heel. Should maybe but re- I, I just I just like Nikki. They should maybe reverse that. But mm. um, so that was a you know a match that happened. Next up, <laughs> Slater and Rhino versus the Usos. That was also a match that happened. Next up. <laughs> For the tag team champions. For the tag team championships, yeah. I actually was rooting for the Usos. Yeah, I was rooting for the Usos as well. I like the Usos. I like Heel Usos. Heel Usos. For the win. Without their face paint. Match number four. Corbin! 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 Corbin versus Swagger. That was also a match that happened. Mm. (laughs) I wish they would push Corbin a bit more. That was actually a decent little match. It was yeah. short. Uh, the end of days was fucking phenomenal. I just, I think he's great, and I really love the character. I really love his hair. I do. I think it totally works for for the character that he is. He looks like that cunt out of Harry Potter, a younger version of that old man, what? Filch. Yep, the janitor. Yeah, <laughs> Cor- Corbin looks like him. <laughs> Maybe you should get a wee cat and start going around. Calling out Mrs. Norris. Is that what happens? What? What? I In can't Harry remember. Potter. Yeah. Yeah, well, he's just a Don't wee... care. Up or next. Or maybe he could uh, <laughs> murder all the Starks. Okay. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, he's in Game of Thrones. <laughs> yeah. Well, spoiler alert for fuck's sake. Oh, please. Everybody knows that by now. Right, okay. Game of Thrones spoilers. Just ignore that last part. If you, if you haven't watched it, it doesn't mean anything to you. I didn't anyway. specify any names. So, so it's fine. Then uh, Ziggler. Versus Miz, Miz yes. for the Intercontinental Championship which, match of the night. Yeah, which should if they were going to put this flipping Cena AJ Dean match on first. Oh my God, Donald, 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 this one, this one. What, what did you do with the? What did you do with the? Who? 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 This is this is Donald Trump. Hello. <laughs> no, that's my Hillary. You're lizard. Snake boy. lizards. Oh my God, Donald. Donald and Hillary, guess what? What is it, Vince? What is it, what is it Vince? Both of them, two-headed fucking snake <laughs> serpent standing in front of Vince McMahon. I put fucking, do you, you know why I moved on Cena's match to the fucking number one spot so we wouldn't miss the fucking debate? What, what happened? <laughs> well, you know how belts are supposed to be. <laughs> I don't know what this voice. <laughs> Turning into Peter Griffin slowly. Oh, I know where I'm, I know exactly oh, where I'm going. God. It's the it's the accent that's yeah. just crazy. You know how the, the belts were you, you, you would then expect the Intercontinental Championship to go on last. How is Vince McMahon suddenly become Irish? Because <laughs> he's got Irish McMahon, he's a fucking Irishman. <laughs> you know how it's supposed to go on last? Well, most people would expect it. Like us, what's going to be last? The belt is the yeah, important thing. You would put the Intercontinental Championship match on last. Well, guess what? I fucking moved that as well. So it wasn't <laughs> last time I turned last. Yes. Thank you, Vin. Come over to the dark side. Vice that President. That noise is really starting to make me feel uncomfortable. Whoever wins is going to be... Uh, Vin- saliva flapping in my ears. Vince McMahon is going to be... Vice President, whoever wins. He's playing both <laughs> sides. How, this is the question. This is, a, this is another question I'm going to ask. I'm not even going to ask. I'm just going to uh, put it to you. How can you play both sides of a two-headed snake? I'm on fire. Right. <laughs> oh, stop doing that. It's horrible. Hello. Vote for me. No, vote for me. In fact, South Parker did that whole... <laughs> yeah, that whole angle. That whole fucking... Uh. What is it? The third in a dish or whatever. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So Ziggler versus Miz is getting back. Yes, it's a wrestling podcast. We know, right? That was uh, a brilliant match. Amazing. Brilliant match. Ziggler versus Miz. Who would have thought? But what? Like, why not put it on last? I guess the presidential debate was getting watched or something. Like that. <laughs> it blows my mind. Ziggler versus Miz should have went on last. It would have made that look tremendous. Yeah, in that moment and Ziggler winning that title. Ziggler won the title after Yay! losing so many fucking times in a row. Um, so it was great to see him win. It's and relevant Miz again. was fantastic in this match. Yeah, Miz, I, Miz is seriously, seriously underrated. No, he's he's coming into a, a he's new. A, he's a decent wrestler and, and he's you know, fucking brilliant on the mic. 
we said great character I think you were like is that the seventh time he's won the Intercontinental Championship I was like no it's the sixth not Mark you know, it was actually the actually fifth, the fifth yeah. we were both yeah. wrong <laughs> so Ziggler's now a five time Intercontinental Champion I think Ziggler suits the Intercontinental Championship somehow Does everyone suits it no not everybody suits it well it's Intercontinental Champion Me- remember when Ryback was Intercontinental Champion oh yeah but he- <laughs> yeah but he doesn't even suit his fucking flesh and organs <laughs> Ryback doesn't even suit his own face. Ryback changed his name. Yeah, what is he now? Ryback. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> well, his name's Ryan uh-huh. something. He's changed. He's legally changed his name to Ryback. Oh no, he's not. I thought you meant he'd like changed his wrestling name since he left. Yeah, WWE. Top Black covered it a few episodes back. On his he single, actually, he's changed his changed name. Changed his name to Ryback. Yeah, like Warrior did. Ultimate Warrior was Warrior oh, Warrior. For fuck's sake! So that he can use it in the circuits. Because he's because he's such a big oh, star though. God. No, but he's such a big star. Yep, yep. He's so big. He's, he's like Ryback. he's like Hulk Hogan, Mark II. Ryback changed his name. What the fuck? Fuck's sake. Anyway, that's a, that's neither here. <laughs> that makes me so nor there. angry. Um, just, just so happy I don't have to see his face on my telly every week. I feel a bad mood rising. <laughs> yeah, bad mood all around for me. Mm. Just uh, there you go, Ryback. Maybe you stick that in your <laughs> pipe and. Blow it. So Ziggler versus Miz stole the show. One of the best matches of the fucking year. Indeed. Sixth match after that. See, Ziggler versus Miz peaked. That was when I thought it peaked with the main event going on first because Vince is a genius and he's going to be vice president. And <laughs> Ziggler versus Miz peaked stole the, show. the show. Yeah, stole the show. So anyone after that was fucked. Naomi. Versus Alexa Bliss Bless. was next. Mm. We were we didn't know what happened to Becky. We still yeah. don't know. Where the fuck is Becky? She's out with some sort of injury of some kind, but apparently it's not in ring related. We'll get to that later. Mm. Um, yeah, Becky. So that match was canned, and it was Naomi versus Bliss, and Naomi won. Yes. Weird. That's no. That's fine. I enjoy Naomi. I like to watch her in the ring because yeah. she is very athletic and she's very good. And Alexa Bliss is good. It was a fine match, so but what, it's just hard to follow Ziggler and Miz, do you know what I mean? So why would Naomi not get the rub? Why would why would Naomi not fight Becky Lynch when she comes back? Yeah. It doesn't make sense. Well, because Alexa Bliss still has that opportunity because she won the number one contendership, so she still has to have that match. Yeah, but then she got beat of Naomi. Mm-hmm. Clean. Well, we'll see. Crazy. Match number seven on the card. Final match. It was a tough one for you. I know. Bray Wyatt versus Randy Orton. Your so men. Choice. Your men. I was torn. Although it was like fun to watch because either way I would have been, you know, I was happy. Were you happy? Well, if were either you, one of them won. Were you happy with that match? Uh, to be honest, I don't really remember because I was really drunk by that point. <laughs> <laughs> that mass prosecco was in the house. Was it good? I don't know. No, it was shit. I feel like I enjoyed it because it was Randy and Bray. Randy was slow. I don't really remember much about it. It shouldn't have been the main event. I think we all know what should have been the main event. Mm, yes, exactly. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so Bray Wyatt won the match. Indeed, he when did. When Luke Harper. I did mark out when Luke Harper came. <laughs> that was funny. He just went. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, check that out, <laughs> folks, if you haven't seen it. It's on the, the channel. Oh, God. Yeah, Bray Wyatt won over Randy Orton. Um, I did, wasn't too, I thought it was a bit pish. Oh, but I love Harper. I, I really appreciate Harper. And it's been so long since he's, you know, been... Graced us with his there. presence. Right, no mercy. Exciting. No mercy. What are your thoughts then, overall? Wankage. I think it's the weakest SmackDown one yet. I'm going to give it like a, th- a three. Hmm. A solid three. But I think it could have been more if the order of the matches had been changed. Yeah, I agree. Because there was some really good matches in there. I'll go with that. I'll give it a three. I still think it was probably the weakest SmackDown. It was just straight. Overall. But that um, Matt Ziggler versus Miz was absolutely yeah, fucking was phenomenal. Great. So let's remember wrestling. Monday Night Raw. We'll gloss over it. We filmed our reaction um, and it broke the video. That's how bad Raw was. Uh, 
opened with Sasha Banks coming out to people chanting, you deserve it. If I hear you deserve it one more time, I feel like I'm going to put my foot through the fucking TV. Every week now. You deserve it! Everybody. Everyone fucking deserves it, apparently. Yeah. Deserves what? It doesn't matter what they're doing. Uh-huh. You deserve it! Anyway, let's hear neither here nor there. And um, <laughs> I can't even be... Bo- that, that was terrible. And was... Oh, so Ra- ridiculous. Ra- Charlotte, Rusev, so, Reigns, what? So bad. Rob like, was terrible. It's so, really hard to watch recently. So Mick Foley looked straight up looked like something out of a horror film. And when I say horror <laughs> film, I mean the type that paedophiles go around molesting children. Mick Foley looked like a giant paedophile. <laughs> Discuss. looked like the child catcher or something. You know how they're going... This is, they're going around with these clown masks on trying to like, scare people with machetes. People should just dress like that. It's fucking more terrifying. Flannel suits and Mick, grease their hair down. I love Mick Foley, but he looked oh. like a... Oh, what? It wasn't a good look. He looked like he wanted to do things in my naughty bits. <laughs> no, Mick. Mick! Uh, wouldn't Mick! exactly be paedophilia, Mick! would it? Mick! Mick, Mick! Old bastard. <laughs> Three Hell in a Cell matches. How about that? Mm, Shit. Stupid. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Excessive. I want one. It should have just been I the women. I feel women. like it's kind of like taking the piss out of. The, they've done it the before. <laughs> no, they've done it, yeah because it's a hell on a cell pay per view. They should, in my opinion, it should be the women's match only yeah. in the hell in a cell because Making that history. yeah it's the first ever women's match in the hell in a cell. Which how is that going to go? I don't know. It'd be interesting to see where are they going to put the dishes and the clothes and the laundry and the. The babies and stuff. Where are they all going to go? Uh, Outside the cage. Is uh, that why they put them in the, the hell in a cell? Uh, uh, you're so funny. But on a serious note, will there be blood? Because mm. they don't like blood anymore. But I'm like, Sasha is a fucking nutcase. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Maybe so, they'll do the hard way. Yeah. Maybe Charlotte will bash Sasha's. I doubt that. I doubt they will very much, but... Uh, be intriguing. I'd, oh, yeah. I'd quite like to see it. Although it's quite brutal to think about it, but there's something about the image of these two women just going after each other. How would they get the hard way though? Remember, folks, this podcast um, is ridiculous. Uh, as a uh, the reason I'm prefacing um, this statement by with that is because I've got an image of you know to get hard way. Maybe maybe one of them will be on some sort of heavy flow and they'll just yank out a tampon and smear the blood all over one's face. How about that? That's a good way to get it. Instead of the elbows, they could just... No? I wish everyone could see my face right now. (laughs) That would be a good way to do it. (laughs) You know. Take, you know, pull out the wee... Pull out. That's so, so wrong. Yank, yank on my string! Yank (laughs) on my string! Let's get it hard way! I don't know where... Yeah, that's fucking ridiculous. I apologise if anyone's eating food right now. Or, <laughs> or <laughs> <laughs> Literally just spat all over the place. Uh, but yeah, oh there's something God. about the thought of the women bleeding somehow. Like... Yeah. Like getting bashed open. Yeah, or something like that. Or That'd smacking just the, head against a post. Just the sight of it would yeah. be cool. But um, We'll see what happens anyway. It'll be interesting to say the I'm least. Intrigued. I'm very intrigued about this women's match. But the thing is, they're they're going to on the same card. They're having three Hell in a Cells. Yeah, so they're also having Rusev and Reigns in Hell in a Cell. Yeah. So how you, they, they need to differentiate them the somehow. Universal Championship. Surely match. something cr- something crazy is going to happen yeah, at some point. They they need to. Otherwise, it's just going to be fucking same same same. Also on Raw, what the fuck moment? Goldberg. Yeah. <laughs> like not been seen in 10 years Goldberg they decide to he, you know make a tweet he tweets saying I'll be on Raw next week I'm going to be on Raw next week what? I hate when they do that yeah. I want to be I want it to be a surprise I'd, I want I'd, to be like holy fuck Goldberg's back I want to hear his music hit or I want to see that fucking knock on yeah. the door and then be like holy shit Goldberg I don't want to be I don't want to be preempted yeah, that's, I'm going to be on Raw next week. That's so bad. I but hate it. Why not just have Heyman do the thing that he done on Raw? You know, call him out, but then have Goldberg come out and fuck up Heyman. Like, mm. what? What's wrong? I know that they do it because they're trying to like 
garner Ratings. views mm. and make people watch that episode. But for your loyal viewers that watch every week, it's so much better to get that surprise. Raw was terrible. So <laughs> at the end, the, it ended with fucking Chris Jericho, who's absolute gold and should be the world fucking champion at everything right now. Chris Jericho versus Seth Rollins. Get this, folks. Are you ready for this? <laughs> and you, you, the wrestling fans know Chris Jericho was getting cheered over <laughs> Seth Rollins. <laughs> what the fuck is this booking? I'm actually turning into a smarky bastard because it does not make sense. Everything Chris Jericho's doing right now is absolute fucking gold. You just made the list! <laughs> like, it just comes up with these perfect catchphrases. Catchphrases, delivers them perfectly People like me time. don't want to boo that guy. No, he's, he's but genius. Get, but they want people to boo him against Seth Rollins, who they're trying to make this face thing that's going to fail miserably. <sighs> I, I'm getting a bit frustrated with, you know, how what they're doing with Rollins. Like, he was massive, and then he got an injury, and he went away for ages. And the moment he came back was massive. Mm. But then I feel like since then, it's just been like... It's because of, oh, you can't yeah. book him against fucking Jericho and Owens yeah. in matches. Oh. Je oh, Jericho and Owens are like... The, they're what's keeping Raw alive for me right now. Right, enough of Raw. I'm sick to the fucking death of that show right now. Three hours of Raw is fucking three hours too long in my yeah. life at the minute. It's you know, like, what? My, my, what I would love to happen is for Jericho and Owens to get plucked from Raw, put in SmackDown, and then I only have to watch two hours of wrestling a week. <laughs> oh God, that would be bliss, wouldn't it? That'd be Alexa bliss. Oh, so our SmackDown video got totally fucked up, um, just like the end of our Raw, Raw video. video. So we've Yay. lost all of SmackDown, but we'll go through it quickly. SmackDown this week. Okay. Terrible. <laughs> How about that? Wasn't great. Um, I thought it was pash apart from, we'll get to what was good, obviously, AJ Styles. Uh, it's opened with Dolph Ziggler coming out, but then the Spirit Squad are apparently in a thing again. Let's just skip that. Fuck the Spirit Squad. Yep. Fuck them. Um, Miz jumped Ziggler. Okay, makes mm -hmm. sense. Atunga is fucking terrible. Oh, God, he's so bad. The so many times. So many times watching that SmackDown, I was just like, what the fuck are you even saying? <laughs> You've got a tonga, for those that don't know, Jimmy Duffy, is a, an announcer on SmackDown that's not required, basically, because they have one of the best in the business, Mauro Ronaldo, who's done MMA and other wrestling stuff, but he's basically the king. Mauro Ronaldo, everything he does is so fucking exciting! What do you think about that, David Otunga? I especially love when he starts to say something, stops halfway through, and then doesn't finish his <laughs> sentence. <laughs> oh, he's such a fucking mug. All right, uh, up next, can you tell him in a bad <laughs> There's a reason it's called Bad Mood Rising, folks. Mm -hmm. Becky! Yeah, question mm -hmm. mark. Well, we kind of know she's fucked off uh, with some weird injury. We'll get to that later. Um, and my notes have got what even is David Otunga <laughs> and then really a, shit after that it says Miz looks like shit on the WWE 2K17 <laughs> package they showed holy fuck they were like look at the graphics oh it looked so bad they were trying to recreate them. oh speaking of fucking wait, wait a minute we need to back up a little bit no mercy Dolph Ziggler's ring attire Oh god! Is that the worst thing you've ever seen that in your a life? Horrible, like bubblegum pink with those weird decal things on them. He's like, "This is my big moment. I'm going to wear these." <laughs> oh dear! Yeah, he was wearing some horrendous tight. Well, what do you call them? Yeah, yeah wrestling tights. tights. Ugh. Um, okay, on the happier fucking notes. Uh, there's three words: Nikki Bella's tits. Yum. That's all it says. That was in a backstage segment. <laughs> My old word. Uh, oh, there, there was looks good. There was also a Survivor Series, uh, Daniel Bryan and Shane McMahon backstage, saying, mm -hmm. let's have all our guys fight Raw's guys. And five various. best SmackDown guys versus five best Raw guys. Same with the tag teams, same with women. Just, I think that's, that'll be interesting. Yeah, it's just Survivor Series style matchups. They've yeah. done it before, back in the day, when the, the brand split happened, when it was five and five, now and again. Uh, Alexa Bliss. Newbie, she's doing, I think she's doing amazing. Yeah, I'm quite newbie. enjoying Alexa Bliss. She's already better on the microphone than Sasha Banks. I'll yep. leave that there for you folks. <laughs> Digest what I just said. That's right, she's already better on the microphone than Sasha Banks. Um, Alpha 
American Alpha, they were doing something with the Usos. <laughs> what happened to I like Alpha? Why are they Yeah. I thought they were gonna come in and like basically steal the Dominate, yeah. Yeah, dominate. I think obviously eventually they're gonna get the titles, but yeah. I'd like it to happen quickly, please. Yeah. So that I keep interested in them. Remember when Zack Ryder won a title? Oh yeah. And we watched him climb remember, the ladder at remember, WrestleMania to win yeah. the Intercontinental belt. And remember he's, he won the Intercontinental title at WrestleMania. And now he's in the hype bros. Yeah. Rem- remember? Yeah. Fuck me. AJ Styles! AJ Styles! I'm actually grabbing uh, Zach's tip in the air <laughs> right now from the Royal Rumble. Uh, I don't know. Look, I, I can't believe I've just done that. I fucking love AJ Styles. He's so good. So they had this whole angle with AJ Styles coming out and then Ambrose came out. Um... And then AJ said he was going to give an opponent a chance. On a side note, I miss my Dean Ambrose hoodie. Yeah, it's gone forever. Forty, Mr. McEwen. Somebody um, stole it. It's gone, and so is your red flannel Mick Foley style thing. Jacket shirt thing. Which I've been meaning to text you back saying, yeah, can't find it. We don't anywhere. have it in the house. Can't find it anywhere, it's buddy. It's lost. <laughs> so uh, there's your answer. I uh, don't know where it is, and I don't know where my fucking Dean Ambrose hoodie is. We got so drunk that night. Oh, how we laughed. Um... <laughs> Ambrose, yeah. What else do we have? So, Ellsworth, yeah. Ellsworth, James Ellsworth comes out. Out comes Ellsworth. The Make a Wish Turtle <laughs> comes out for a match. What the fuck? And to be fair, this whole segment was pretty funny. It was, um, especially when enjoyed it when he when JBL said it was a Chinderella story. <laughs> a Chinderella story. Oh, I fucking pissed myself. For those that don't know, oh. Ellsworth looks. Like, um, he looks like a dog has bitten off his chin and then they've attempted to stitch it back on, but it's not quite gone right. Well, I, I was starting to feel bad because I actually thought a canine ripped off his jaw <laughs> and they tried to put it back on and it didn't quite go right. But this is a direct quote from, from James Ellsworth on the Chris Jericho podcast. Talk is Jericho. The chinless thing. I'd thank my parents for that because they're both chinless. That's where that came from. Mm. So that's what got me over. So I'd thank my parents for getting me over with neither one of them having a chin. <laughs> it's, it's a hereditary chinlessness. I thought I actually thought it was in a, some horrible abomination. But, but it does look like he's got scarring there. So I thought. Yeah, I'm starting weird. to feel bad. Oh, anyway, old. Ellsworth... Um, you <laughs> Cinderella story. Oh Ellsworth, basically, he looks like a fucking freak, right? That's all I'm going to say. There's no other way to put it. He looks like a fucking make a wish fucking turtle. Oh, but right. that, that was really good. The whole, I enjoyed that whole segment. The whole segment. With Ambrose is guest referee. I thought he did really well with that. When Dean Ambrose was emptying his jeans and handed like AJ <laughs> the hip flask, I was pissing myself. Oh, um, and then when, when AJ slammed him once, when he slammed him, um, What's Ellsworth. He, Ellsworth once and Ambrose points at me he's like can you continue <laughs> <laughs> after on slam I was on the floor uh, uh, so yeah they went with the whole comedy angle and it worked it surprisingly yeah. it worked quite well <laughs> but then it came to the one of the, the you know the most feared finishers in WWE history or wrestling history the Styles Clash oh Christ where you're supposed to you take this Unusually, you have to put your head like forward up and to the air. Tilt your head backwards so that you, yeah. You don't break your neck. Don't um, tuck your chin. What, oh did James, what did James Ellsworth do? He tucked his chin in. He doesn't even have a chin. Why is he tucking it? Oh, I literally, like, I don't know if he managed to snap his head back just no, in it was time AJ. or AJ modified it slightly yeah. so that he wasn't breaking his neck by slamming his head into the ground. AJ modified it. It looked But I look shat neck. my pants. Yeah, we were like, oh my God! We thought, um, Chinderella was going to die. I thought that was it. Neck broken, dead on the mat. Fuck me. Oh. That was a scary, scary moment for Ellsworth. Um, but apart from that, I thought the whole, that was the best part of... Yeah. I don't know why they didn't finish with that. Because, you know, the finish was a bit shit. Because what happened was they peeled out Kane <laughs> <laughs> to fucking team up with team Randy with Orton. Randy and then... Against Bray and Apparently Harper. Smackdown's a comedy show because... Kane looked at Randy and was like, "You got issues." You got issues. <laughs> Which, you know. I, I laughed at that. It's quite funny. I like Kane. I think Kane has amusing and good comic timing. I think Kane has big, sexy red balls. <laughs> he's looking that, good, by the way. Yeah, he's top. Yeah, yeah, looking good. He's looking in shape. 
I'd, yeah, I'd love him to fuck me. <laughs> um, keep the mask on, okay. Big Glenn. Oh, God. Uh, yeah, that was the main event. It was Bray Wyatt. Tag match. Tag match. And at the start, Bray Wyatt and Luke Harper were talking absolute shit. <laughs> absolute bollocks. The usual, oh, I'm going to eat your soul. I'm going to get some pizza and eat your soul, man. I could listen to Bray talk all day. <sighs> honestly. He's great at talking, but yeah. he talks nonsense for. Yeah, but that's why half the reason why I love it so much is that he just makes nonsense sound good. <laughs> okay, um, yeah. Well, and then where's Kane? The light went out. Yeah. Fucking Luke Harper was in his place when Randy was going to tag Kane. Kane just Kane disappeared. disappeared, folks. Ooh, a mystery. And then Bray <laughs> got Randy. And the worst Sister Abigail of all time happened. <laughs> yeah, so James Ellsworth set a little fucking thing, a uh, curse in motion here when he didn't tuck his non chin. Um, no, when he did tuck his non chin. Um, yeah, that was fucking. So instead of Randy's head being slammed into the canvas, it got slammed into Bray's jiggly belly. <laughs> it was the worst. Sister Abigail <laughs> is so Bray Wyatt's finishing maneuver, which is usually pretty cool. But I was expecting a little kiss on yeah, the head. Yeah, didn't do a kiss. Maybe that's what Randy I was think, thinking. Yeah, Randy's like, where's my fast. fucking? Randy's like, where, where's my fucking kiss? <laughs> Everyone else gets kiss. a kiss. You're getting a heater to the belly. A heater to the belly. Douche. <laughs> What's a heater? It's a headbutt. A headbutt. Yes. A hooter to the belly. <laughs> Randy Orton. Where's my kiss? Where's my fucking kiss like? Uh, a pure one, a kiss. That's Glasgow, Randy. Well, I'll give you a kiss, Randy. Oh, right on the bell end. <laughs> ding, 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 motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck me. Where does, where does this oh, podcast go? God. So that was Smackdown. That was Smackdown. Yeah. Wrestling. Fucking, let's remember wrestling. Let's not. Uh, it was pretty shit in the last week. Um, <laughs> I'm not, like, feeling as excited as I should. For what? I love wrestling, and I want to be excited by it, and I want to have an amazing what? time watching Raw and SmackDown every week, and I'm just not. It, it makes me sad. I have, I have a good time, but I entertain myself. Yeah. Be just going, Mah! sticking a camera <laughs> in my face. That's why... Like there are always shining moments because there are always people that no matter what they're given or where they are in the show are always going to be amazing. Yeah. But, you know, as a whole, it's getting a bit, ugh. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah, we, we, we do our reactions and film them. We've been busy. You were fucked with the cold. I've been fucked yeah. with the cold. We've been going to the hospital once. <laughs> getting out. That bitch, you know what happened, right? So my eyeballs are dilated and they still are. And... So I went into the doctor with the dilated eyeballs after waiting for days. They were hurting. I looked in the mirror. It was like just big giant pupils like I'd been <laughs> hoovering up cocaine with my urethra. Um, I looked basically like Roman Reigns did when he was on his suspension. And she, she, sh looked, she you know, shined a torch thing and in the back of my skull or the back of my eyes. That's why they dilate them. Mm -hmm. Do you know what she, she said? She looked right into my eyes and she went, I wonder who you think you are. You damn well think you're God or something. <laughs> God give life. God take it away. Not you. Not you. I think you are the devil itself. She didn't. She never actually said that. Um, she said, "Oh, she your eyes are fine. <laughs> Fuck off." Um, but yeah, that was Archives of Pain right there. One of my favourite songs of all and time. Extreme features. But yeah, I'm a bit of a devil child, basically. Um, <laughs> yeah. So wrestling. Yeah, we actually. Um, Digress slightly from wrestling. We watched the OJ thing. Mm -hmm. What was it called? Uh, OJ made in America. Made in America. Watch that if you haven't seen it. It's old news now. Obviously, it's OJ. <laughs> but it's great. Awesome. It's yeah, awesome. It's been really well done. Awesome sauce. Really we interesting. We spent a bit of time watching non-wrestling things, which was fun. We, we, with cheery things like OJ Simpson <laughs> getting away with murder. <laughs> And Louis, Wasn't that Louis, Louis, Louis Theroux Louis Theroux's Jimmy fucking Jimmy Savile documentary Brilliant Jesus The new one was a bit shit to be honest I, I enjoyed it It was interesting I love Louis Theroux Everyone loves Louis Theroux The He's, old one's just fucking crazy Yeah The first anyway, one he did Anyway This is why we're in a bad mood probably Because we've been surrounding ourselves with all this darkness And I've been listening <laughs> to the archives of pain on repeat Uh 
But yeah, so that was that's let's remember wrestling. So, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, a view from the top of our man with a big swinging cock. That's right, folks. Chris Toplak, view from the top is now a standalone show. That's right, you heard me right, folks. It's a standalone show on our podcast feed. So check that out. It'll just say a view from the top with the date. So we're going to go through his latest a view from the top. Um, so check that out if you haven't listened to it. Um, he starts off with Paige. <laughs> Yet again, Paige and our good friend Albie are all over the fucking news every single week. So um, he gave us this last week, so it was last Thursday, I believe, so um, it's slightly older news from us talking about it now from when we're recording this, but we'll plod on. Paige is an idiot, let's face it. She seems like a fucking stupid cunt. Mm, Uh, Suspended again. She's been suspended again, so she now gets 60 60 days, days. and she's been banned, for flagged up for an illegal substance that she says wasn't an illegal substance. Um... Do we think she's just trying to get fired because she wants out, but she's still contracted for like four years or something ridiculous? Fuck knows, but she's been ridiculous. Yeah. Remember, everyone knows we've talked about Albie and Paige for the last how many episodes? Every Probably every episode that Top Lack's given us news. And I don't want it to stop. Every week <laughs> I want an Albie. Every, even if there's nothing, Top Lack. Even if there's nothing, Mr. Chris Top Lack. Just make up make something up. about Albie and Paige. <laughs> Because it won't be the same. So Paige, she's been banned for 60 days, illegal substance, hoovering up cocaine with her fucking labia or whatever the fuck. And uh, her um, vulva. Is that a thing? That's a thing. Her petal. And, her um, petal. Her petals. <laughs> oh, that's, that's a nice way of putting it. Hoovering up cocaine with her hairy petal. <laughs> yep. Um, so she's been banned for a substance. And Chris Toplak made a good point. He said, in a view from the top, he says, you know, do we think that it appears that she's more loyal to Alberto Del Rio than she is to the WWE? WWE. And apparently so, because I'm going to break this news because Toplak will probably discuss it, but I actually saw it on his Twitter feed. Get this, Nat Mask KO. Are you ready? Are you strapped in, folks? I don't know if this is 100% true yet. Haven't checked it out, but I want a view from the top to cover it, please. Paige proposed to Alberto Del Rio in the middle of a wrestling ring. Discuss. Oh, God. Remember how I said she has one tattoo? She's got two. Oh, God. One says Pappy. And then uh-huh. one says, like, Albie or something. <laughs> Albie. <laughs> so she's proposed to him. Why? <laughs> what, what did he say? I don't, I'm assuming he said yes. Oh, no. I love Albie. What is happening? This is this better be a reality show. Albie oh, and Paige. Paige. Grow up, for fuck's sake. He looks she loves she loves him. But we watched really? we watched her on that Divas Total Divas show and she seems like a fucking psychopath when yeah, it comes to relationships and stuff. Mm-hmm. Uh, so yeah, well more on that please, Mr. Toplack. I can't discuss it now, but I believe that she proposed. So maybe it was a joke, I don't know. <laughs> right, next up was Becky's injury. Basically Becky is fucked up. We don't know what's wrong with her. Apparently, there was no physical injury. Or nothing to do with in ring. Nothing to do with in ring stuff. So yeah. maybe it's like she's getting a uh-huh. bunion removed or something. Maybe she's getting fake tits. Oh, no, she wouldn't have cancelled her <laughs> match for that. No. As much as I would welcome it with open fucking fly. Um, <laughs> no physical injury there, apparently. Uh, next up, we went through the Goldberg versus Lesnar scenario, which we all know is happening. It's going to be happening soon. Um, but let me just check. What was, yeah, we're saying that the rumours were that Vince was not happy at all, which is uh, which is very interesting. Vince McMahon. Oh, and that mask, he was away to the pisser. You've left me here speaking to myself. Bell to bell, folks. This podcast is bell to bell. Uh, Goldberg versus Lesnar. Uh, the first match 10 years ago or whenever it was, it was absolutely horrendous because both of them were leaving and uh, gave the you sold out the chance. Brock Lesnar wasn't happy giving the fingers to all the fans. I fucking loved it. 
I'm a big Lesnar Mark Goldberg's pretty cool But it's going to be interesting to see what he looks like When he comes back What kind of shape is he going to be in? Is he going to get flagged For all these illegal substances That seem to be happening Because apparently uh, The wellness policy does not apply To part-timers Goldberg's not been in it for years So hmm Watch this space uh, yeah, Chris Toplak was saying that rumours are Vince is not happy with the angle I'm not happy with the fucking angle The way that they've thrown it together Like it's to do with the video game No real fucking story, really No surprise factor But we'll see what happens on Raw I'm actually fairly excited about that Oh, Nat Maske, oh you nearly back? Ah, that must have been a quick piss That was Yeah um, So Vince McMahon might not be happy with the, the angle with Lesnar and Goldberg, mm. which we've said we're not happy with. Vince is just, as long as Trump's happy, Vince is happy. <laughs> uh, they're saying, Chris Toplak saying, potentially Lesnar versus Shane McMahon. Mm. WrestleMania 33, that is the match I would actually like to see. I've said it before. But I just... Oh, but I you break my back. Remember? Uh, yeah, Shane is mental, as we've all seen. But I just think you put Brock Lesnar next to Shane McMahon and it's, I don't see it as a feasible match. I feel like Brock would just kill him. Yeah, but that's why they have to make it like a stipulation, like a yeah. street fight or something that's going to be nuts. Because Shane's not a real, you know, he just jumps off things. Yeah, so, so maybe he can jump off something into Lesnar's F5. Maybe Shane will, like I said, he'll probably just be like, break my back, Lesnar. Can you break my back? It'll be great hard way. Break my back the hard way. <laughs> oh, fuck. God. Um, I'd quite like to see that. I bet loads of fans will be moaning about that match, but I'd, I'd, I'd quite like to see it just for the stunt factor and the freaky nature of it. <laughs> um, next up, Top Lack covered TNA. Uh, I was asking him for some TNA news. Um, and I'm also asking him for even more news, which I'm sure there will be. Fuck knows what's going on over there right now. Um, TNA, Vince has maybe bought the tape library, but it might be available on the network. And they're maybe doing some sort of new tiered system. system. Yeah, four price points. Mm -hmm. I've already went on the record and said I would happily pay $50 a month for the WWE Network. Currently, yeah, never all, mind all the content that's on there. Yeah, it's worth it. So Ridiculous. I welcome I'm, anything that they put on there extra for me. That'd be awesome. Yes, please. Um, Dixie Carter has said that she would never sell the company to Vince McMahon. Bullshit. Yeah, we'll, see. well, to be fair, Dixie Carter, you know, she doesn't need money. Her family are fucking ridiculously loaded from like oil and stuff. So like proper, proper money. Uh, so maybe it's just a principle thing. But I think. Billy Corgan, remember there was the whole mm. Billy has Corgan. He not, yeah, has he not put some money into well, it? Well, I think the latest that I've heard is that he's suing TNA. Wait, what? Yeah, I think there's been a whole twist of events here where Billy Corgan is suing TNA. I have no idea what's going on. Right. There's a power struggle. Chris Toplak, get on this yeah. immediately because this Report is back to us. fascinating to me because despite it's higher than that. It's fine on the ring. I'm still just the ring. Billy Corgan there singing <laughs> with uh, Hillary and Trump in the audience. <laughs> yeah, making a little appearance. Giving their two headed snake. <laughs> um, as good as you. Subscribers. Yeah, so the subscribers could pay more for TNA and Ring of Honor potentially. Albi, here we go, our oh, man Alberto Albi Del Rio Update on the slashings that he received <laughs> Different stories, apparently And then if you listen to a view from the top Top Black detailed how he said that he, he didn't have access to a phone So he couldn't contact the company he was really? supposed to show up for But Paige was there, but she not got a phone It's all very suspicious I think mm. they were both just high as fuck <laughs> Hoovering up all sorts with their nether regions um, I don't know what's going on there, but I'll be and Paige. I think it's going to end badly, interestingly badly, like some sort of suicide <laughs> pact where they drive off a cliff, <laughs> hand in hand, getting tattooed at the same time while hoovering up all sorts of drugs. Well, I'd be extremely surprised if it didn't all 
just go up in flames at some point. You you think she's getting those tattoos removed in the near future? <laughs> I really don't think it's going to last. You think she's going to get the LB? Because she's a psycho. <laughs> we don't even know her. <laughs> she seems you like can't a psycho. say she's a psycho. She, I just think she's um she very just, she's immature. Just, she's just a fucking cunt. She's <laughs> she's got a lot of maturing to do. And Alberto Rio is a grown man with kids. Like so? how, how could he Good possibly? On him. He's fucking Paige. We've discussed this. How could he marry her and you know put her in his kids' lives when she's unstable? <laughs> hey. Folk dig crazy chicks and big Albie's one of them. It's, I, I think it's just fascinating. Um, and a serious note, I mean, I think I think it's very fascinating. It is fascinating. And you know, we don't we're not actually judging Paige and saying that she's mental, but you know, yeah. this podcast is fucking ridiculous. So Paige, you're a fucking mentalist. Cunt. Who are we to judge anyone? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but I, I would never say a bad word about Albie apart from he's a psychopath, and that's in a good way. Sorry, Albie. <laughs> Because I love you and you seem mental. And speaking of Albie, as we said, the, the slashing thing, and he's also fucking the new Dana White of a company called, is it Combate Americas, which is an yeah. MMA company that Alberto Del Rio is now the president of. How does El he get these gigs? He's just running around with fucking <laughs> Paige in, his, in tow, fucking becoming a president of a MMA company. Getting stuff. I love this guy. I f- <laughs> he's one of my heroes. Oh fuck it's, it's like a Bonnie and Clyde story or something yeah. I don't know Brie Bella expecting a baby Aww. I'm sure Nikki will be happy about that <laughs> Auntie Nikki Bella <laughs> <laughs> For those that don't know Jamie Duffy Nikki Bella um, is with John Cena Who uh, doesn't want doesn't to get want married And doesn't, doesn't want, want to have any kids Ever Ever and Nikki's, Nikki's pretending that she's all right with that. Yeah, and <laughs> so she, she, Nikki obviously wants kids and to be married and shit. So her twin sister Bree is expecting a baby and is married. So there's a little interesting. I'm very happy for them because they obviously want to be parents. Yeah, so. they've been they've been saying it for years. Yeah, yeah. Daniel Bryan and uh, Bree have been saying it for ages. So be interesting to see how that develops on Total Bellas, which is the new show, which is. Fucking awesome, yep. let's face it. We've watched two episodes. <laughs> Very good. I suggest everyone watch Total Bellas for an insight in John Cena's madness. <laughs> uh, he got bitten. Spoiler alert. <laughs> John Cena got fucked up by a little dog. <laughs> and he went mental. Um, <laughs> quite right. It's, it's his house. It's his rules. Take your I shoes know. off, dog. Take your <laughs> shoes off. Stay in the, stay in the garden shed, dog. <laughs> Oh dear. Um, yeah, so congratulations to Bree and Danny Boy. Up next, your man, Bret Hart. My man. Yeah. Oh yeah, totally. We saw him. Well, we're not going to talk about it really, but we, we saw him at a convention in Manchester and you got a little picture. We were going to meet him, but it was sold out. And that really, you wouldn't. I, really I, I refuse I refuse to believe that you wouldn't want a picture next I'd to Bret Hart. I'd go and get a picture next to him, but I wouldn't be like, Oh my god, you're amazing! I love you. I would just be like, all right, Brett, picture, great, cheers, bye. Because I honestly think he is just ridiculous. We've discussed ridiculous. it before. We've discussed it at length before. I always play devil's advocate. He makes me so angry. His life has been ridiculous. So. Chill out, Brett, for fuck's sake! It's yeah, all a show. It's not real. <laughs> but once again, like I say, you, you could, I guess you've got to draw the line somewhere. But he's he's um. He's now moaning at the Freebirds, getting inducted into the Hall of Fame. We were at that Hall of Fame ceremony. To be that was fair, fun. I get where he's coming from. Like, why have they been inducted before people like Owen Hart? Or no, but you don't know the whole Owen Hart story, so you can't say that. Well, okay. Owen Hart's widow is she doesn't want anything doesn't, yeah, to d- Owen to do because she still blames the company for his death. Owen Hart fell from a device, like a flying fox type thing whatever you call it, yeah, fell off and died in the middle of the ring. Uh, horrendous. And that, that was Brett's brother. That fucked Brett up. And then Brett got one old screw job. Brett got concussed by Goldberg. He couldn't wrestle again. The Brett had a stroke. The guys had a fucking and bad life. Man. prostate cancer. Yeah, he survived cancer. He's allowed to moan. You know what, Brett Hart, you're allowed to moan. He's had a fucking tough it, time. It's when he gets at people, and I, like, I don't agree with the things that he's saying, and it annoys me. Well, that's you're allowed to do that. People don't agree with things you say. 
You annoy me. No, that's true. But I think he is. You annoy me constantly with the shit that you talk. Ridiculous person who thinks it, that it's all real. Uh, yes, it does come across as. I, I, I've absolutely like acknowledged that he is that he was one of the greatest wrestlers there has been, like mm. the greatest in ring yeah. technicians there's yeah. ever been. But as a person, but you're not acknowledging the the things that have made him this person. The screw job, the brother's death, the cancer, the fucking strokes, the no, concussions. No, because he was like that. Bef- you know, it annoyed me when we watched um, Bret Hart wrestling with shadows. Oh, one of the greatest documentaries of all that time. That was before a lot of that happened. That was during the Montreal screw job. Yeah, but it was the <laughs> lead screwed. up. It was the lead up to that, and he was still a fucking pressy wee. Diva, Dick. yeah, he's a diva. He, didn't, he just didn't want the job to shorten night. We'll discuss this later on a different podcast. Anyway, um, moving on. The Montreal screw job is a fucking fascinating thing to look into. The, the WWE is, in fact, just pro wrestling in general, especially WWE, WCW, and fucking more recently TNA, the most fascinating business in the world to look into pro wrestling. Mm-hmm. I suggest everyone that's listening to this podcast do your research, look into it. There's so much we can all fucking learn and. And look at the history. Oh, there's so much that I still don't know. And it's because you think, oh, it's just wrestling. No, it's, it's fucked up. It's the, the most fascinating industry on the planet when you break it down, especially when you've got all these dramas happening behind the scenes. Behind the scenes is the most important like aspect of the wrestling industry because on the surface, it's just guys in pants pretending to fight each other. <laughs> Let's face it, that's why people can't understand. How can you be in fuck, you know, like wrestling? It's like it's the most fascinating fucking industry on the planet, bar none. Fuck your Hillary and Trump. That mindless <laughs> shit. Look into the fucking Montreal screw job. There we go. <laughs> anyway, it's moving up on to the next fucking. So Michael Hayes said, uh, fuck you, Brett. You don't know what you're talking about. These two of my friends are dead and you're talking ill of the dead, blah, 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 basically. Yeah. Um, but he doesn't, you know, Michael Hayes doesn't have a point there because you can say whatever the fuck you want about anybody, <laughs> dead or alive, Michael. Fuck. Uh, but um, yeah, so Brett, I think he might have apologised since, but the Freebirds drew a lot of money back in the day when it was territorial, and so basically everyone's saying Brett doesn't really have a fucking leg to stand on in that argument. Next up, this is an interesting one. Chris Toplak uh, gave us an view from the top. Chris Benoit biopic in the works, possibly. All of all of written in the notes. No fucking way. <laughs> That's what I've written. I'm like, how could they do this story? Could they possibly make that? And he's saying that Michael C. Hall was possibly considered or a front runner for the role of Chris Benoit. That sounds like bullshit to me. I'm not <sighs> top lack. I'm not saying your sources are shit. But that sounds like it's, bullshit. It's hard to believe. It is hard to believe. But I could see Michael C. Hall doing a good Chris Benoit. Yeah, because Michael C. Hall played one of the most fucking famous serial killers on TV. Yeah. Chris Ben. I don't and want to watch it. He's just it, a fucking. But Michael C. Hall is a fucking. Yeah. Just for, well, fantastic, for, fantastic actor. Yeah, exactly. But it's the story, it's the content um, of the whole I, thing. Surely it's not going to get made. I don't think But so. if it was It's not a wide enough market No And people like us I don't want to watch it Well like, I'd, I'd, if it If it was made And it came out I'd watch it out of Morbid curiosity Ben But oh. Well Chris Toplak <laughs> Asked the question The question is Would you watch it He said He wouldn't watch it I wouldn't The thought of even watching it, it, it Grosses me out I think the main because I love Benoit. Are, yeah, the one of the main things is I don't, don't want to think about Benoit in that sense. I well, want to remember him. Kind of. <laughs> no, I don't want to think, think about mean, him like, in that sense. For no one that knows Jamie Duffy, he probably does. <laughs> For no one, that sense means he fucking killed his wife and his little son. I was going to say retarded son, but I thought about it or not. I had learned it. He had some, I think it was autistic or something. Yeah, some um, that's neither here nor there. He killed his fucking family and then uh, killed himself. Killed himself. Yeah. Yeah. But but, but how, they, how would they... Oh. He was a good wrestler. Yeah. <laughs> Brutal though. Can you imagine that in a biopic? Oh God. No. <laughs> it's not going to get made. It's not. It's just not. It's just not, not a big enough... No, it market can't. either business wise, it doesn't make sense. No. It's, it's a horrible subject. No one wants to think about it or talk about it. No. 
Uh, especially when you look into the deed and see now that we're talking about it <laughs> I wonder at least there should be like a documentary on Netflix yeah. that we can watch I'd watch a documentary about it but <sighs> we'll watch a fucking documentary about it but not like a a film where it's like it's almost made into a movie yeah I mean? made into a story and yeah and things are maybe it's fucked up, exaggerated and changed or whatever. No, but it, they don't need for, to. You know. They don't need to, Natalie. They don't need to exaggerate no, anything. No, but but you know no, what wait, I mean. Wait, wait, like, wait, wait, it's yeah, not yeah, a true yeah, telling of events yeah, yeah. in you don't, whatever way. Because you don't know, right? What happened was, right? I believe I don't know the exact time frame. Right? He killed his wife. Put a Bible next to her dead body. Waited maybe a day or two in the same house. Then killed the fucking son. And, and himself, but put Bibles next to the, each other's bodies and shit. What the fuck? What the fuck is going on in that guy's head? Bible. What? Can you? That's a perfect Hollywood thing when you think about it. It's oh, like, yeah. that's not I'm, not. I'm not saying like they need. I just mean like. And then when they've done the autopsy. When, it's, when they're writing a script for it, like obviously it's not going to be a factual telling of events leading up to it or whatever or however they're going to do it because it's going to have to get. Cinematized, cinematized, and I'm not sure. I'm well. They'd have to give Benoit that. a personality to begin yeah. with. <laughs> that's a bit. That's a bit harsh. It's, I'm, I'm, I'm fucking, the rabid Wolverine. I'm getting freaked out talking about. <laughs> it's like when you say Benoit's name three times, he turns up behind you, <laughs> yeah, gives beautiful. you three German suplexes, <laughs> puts a Bible next to you, does that fucking <laughs> thing, flying headbutt. Mm. Jesus. Anyway, let's not talk about. It's giving me chills even thinking about Chris Benoit. Jesus. But um. Yeah. No, I don't want to see it. <laughs> I don't want Michael no, C. Is Hall to be involved either. No. Cruiserweight Classic could be a weekly show. Hope not. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I've got because I, that's more wrestling to watch. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I'd rather just have. Please, a, no more shows. An integrated thing in Raw. Please, no more. I'm enjoying Brian Kendrick. Brian Kendrick's say. awesome. Yeah. What about your man? TJ Perkins. Yeah. Uh, TJP. I'm not interested at all. I appreciate what he does in the ring and he is quite exciting and he does exciting, impressive things, but I just, it's that music. It's that music. It, it, I love it the just music. pisses me off. I love the music. Anyway, uh, last bit, mm, I was going to say not least, but I guess it is. Last, um, on the view from the top, Samoa Joe. Question mark. Debut. Question mark. Braun Strowman. Question mark. Well, I could see that. He's a legitimate opponent for Braun Strowman. Well, he's fucking right. He is. That would he would be a him. brilliant person to come out. Uh, Samoa Joe would be great on the roster, but where would they put him? I don't know. It's all very... I, I do feel there. like Samoa Joe is a raw man. I think he's an NXT guy at the minute. I mean, he, if, obviously he's when amazing. They're gonna, when they pull him up, I hope it is on raw. I think, he likes, I think he'd be a good fit. I think he you know... Fits well into the NXT locker room and being a leader and stuff like that. Uh, but I don't know. So much Joe. We love him. I think he's awesome. I hope I'll be he, happy to see him. I hope he appears yeah. very soon. So that was a view from the top by our man, Chris Toplak. He has a big swinging cock. If you want to see pictures of his big swinging cock, visit <laughs> www.christoplak.com. There may not be pictures on his website. I may, have just, <laughs> I may have just made that up. Nat Maskeo just went on her phone and started looking. No, I saw that. Oh, top black. Don't mm. lie. I saw that. <laughs> if you want to hear more of his sexy voice, hit up chrystopplack.com. Ask the top. I forgot to ask him a fucking question last week, so I'll send him one this week. Um, hashtag ask the top on, on Twitter. Ask him a question about wrestling. He will answer on his other show, which is on his website. Thank you very much, brother. You are the man. So... That was episode 10, I believe. Nice. Fucking 10 episodes. We've done our YouTube's bonus. What was it? The, the we YouTube's. decided to call it the YouTube's <laughs> chapter volume one, um, yeah. which was just me reading out <laughs> comments. But we'll, we'll do chapter volume two uh, soon. Um, interview <laughs> interview with a Xander should be up soon. <laughs> interview with a Xander. <laughs> I, d- I just thought I'll call it that like interview with a Xander like interview with a vampire interview with a vampire but it's a Xander yeah that'll be in the next bonus episode interview with a Xander which is us a Xander a, 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 a Xander <laughs> interview with a Xander bonus episode will be available shortly so look out for that guys it's just us being drunk in a hotel room in, <coughs> in London I can't believe you've still got that fucking cold sorry is it AIDS I coughed there because you made is me laugh AIDS? so much have you got the AIDS <gasps> have I got the AIDS I've given you the AIDS Oh, for fuck's sake. Um, so, yeah, interview with Xander. 
he, maybe he can cure us. He's a doctor. Um, we tr- recorded it in a hotel room on my iPhone, so it's terrible quality. Um, it sounds like a, a Weed Keller podcast. Um, <laughs> burn, Weed! Burn, you fuck! Um, and basic. What were you laughing at? <laughs> burn, Weed! Burn! <laughs> Yeah, okay. That tickled uh, my ribs. Was it, was it, was it my face? <laughs> yeah, and also the ridiculousness of you saying burn. <laughs> Ooh, burn. <laughs> Giving myself a little fucking <laughs> round of applause there. Uh, that's uh, funny. <laughs> yeah, so an interview with Xander will be up. Like I say, it was terrible quality. It's just like fucking uh, <laughs> Weed Killers podcast. Burn, Weed! Burn! And um, oh so... Look out for that. We're too dry. I can't even remember what we talk about. I'm sure Bret Hart comes in at some point. Um, but I think Xander starts off very cynical about wrestling <laughs> because he thinks it's, you know, something grown ups shouldn't be involved in. <laughs> but as the interview goes, he gets, more in, he gets more into it. Yeah. Uh, he was a big wrestling fan back in the day. Uh, so look out for that. Uh, it's going to be fucking ridiculous. And just like this one. Uh, looking forward, what's coming up? Wrestling wise, Hell in a Cell. Hell in a Cell's still three weeks away, though, isn't it? Is it? Yeah. I thought there was one every like f- two days. <laughs> I'm a fucking it's been genius. Like. Um, yeah. So, but yeah, give us a rating if you're listening on iTunes. If you don't know how to do that, go to the iTunes store, type in the reaction room. We will come up. Wrestling podcast it says rate five stars. Write a thing. I'll read it out in the next podcast. Do it. Do it now! Do it! Do it. Um, if you do that, I will get my dick out on Snapchat. I know you've been asking for it for a long time, folks, but, you know, it's finally going to happen. Uh, Better get your magnifying glasses out then, guys. No. Because that's the only way you're going to see it. No, they've got those special filters on Snapchat. You can make it look like a wee dog. <laughs> a wee one-eyed dog. A chihuahua. One of those fucking maybe a snake teacup Yorkies. That's fucking two-headed be. Trump Hillary snake. <laughs> <laughs> my dick. <laughs> oh my god, I'm a genius. Great Scott. I don't believe it. Anyway, what are you now, Victor Mildrew? <laughs> um, I don't know what I'm doing. Right, this podcast has went on too fucking long for my liking. Oh, so rate, review, subscribe, subscribe to all of our shit, motherfuckers. Get me on Twitter at dead underscore end underscore old and and get me on at that mask <laughs> Does that make sense? Yes. Okay. Say goodbye. Goodbye. Fuck off! <laughs>